Many of the more established security companies have the funds to provide training for their guards. The well-established, better, if I can use the term better, better known, let's put it that way, security companies in this country are extremely strict with who has a firearm, the training that they're given, that they are, are tested, can they actually use it? Uh, if they're pointing at a target, can they hit the target or do they miss completely and so on. So the, the, the established companies do this and they're very, very um, conscientious about it. This week, a security guard with no firearm training accidentally shot a pregnant woman in Ventuk. Parkhouse says that there are other methods that guards can apply to do their jobs. Risk, if I can use that term, of the smaller companies who haven't got the funds to train uh, their staff in the use of firearms shouldn't give them firearms. Bottom line, they can use things like uh, truncheons, shamboks, pepper spray. There are many ways that they can attack a, a possible criminal or arrest a, a, a potential criminal without having to have a firearm. The safety of citizens is at risk because of untrained security guards. This week's incident also served as a warning to call for the amendment of the Arms and Ammunition Act of 1996.